everyone, I hope that you are well. Today we'll be doing a full body workout with a pump bar. So we will be doing a couple of combo sets and a few supersets to finish. So throughout this video, I do little technique and top tips in between each exercise combo and superset I show you. So I recommend doing three sets of 12 reps with a minute's rest so for the squats into the lunges for example one squat and one lunge will equal one rep and i recommend doing 12 reps of each exercise during the superset so i hope you enjoy and let me know how you got on i would recommend not doing it on the grass like i did because my foot did slip when doing the lunges but other than that enjoy and be safe so we will be doing a deadlift to an upright row combo for the deadlift i will just show you the technique now so we want to safely lift the bar from the ground with an overhand grip bring it up to our hips we want a slight bend in the knees to roll our shoulders back and to hinge at the hips to bring the bar down and bring it back up with the bar as close to the legs as possible and for the upright row, you want to stay in the same hand position, bring it up to chest level, roll your shoulders back and really squeeze when you're at chest height and lower back down to your hips. And that is one rep. to lunge combo so we want to lift the bar safely from the ground up to our hips flicking it up to our shoulders pressing overhead and putting it comfortably on our shoulders for the squats you want to be in a comfortable position with your toes pointing outward we want to hinge your hips back so you'll be pushing your bum to, um, back towards anything behind you pointing your knees out towards your toes so at 10 and 2 on a clock bring yourself back up and for the lunges, take a long stride back, bring your knee towards the ground without touching the ground so your legs are at 90 degrees. Then come back up and safely lower the bar back to the ground when you are done.
floor chest press with the bar into push-ups. So for the floor chest press, we want to safely put the bar on our hips, lay down, push it up so it's in line with our mid-chest. We want a wide grip on the bar. We want to lower it down and back up. We want about an inch before it touches your chest and push it back up and then safely put it back down on your hips roll up onto the floor and then for push-ups you have two options you can either go on your toes or on your knees it's down to you on your toes you want to make sure your shoulders are in line with your wrists so push forward and push your heels backwards to ensure that you're in a flat line with your back and then you want to bring your elbows down and there we go. So you don't want them flaring out to the side, you want them slightly tucked in towards you. And the same goes for when you're on your knees. You want your wrists in line with your shoulders. Don't want your elbows to flare, so you want to bring them back towards you and back up. To our back combo so we will be doing a bent over row into meadow rows as a superset so just like doing a deadlift we want to hinge out our hips roll our shoulders back to be in the deadlift position the difference is we will not be coming back up we'll be staying here until we have finished with the bent over row like so so we want to bring the elbows up towards our side Squeeze your shoulder blades at the top and bring it slowly back down. And then for the meadow row, place the bar down safely. Take the weights off one end and we hinge at the hip like we're doing deadlift form again. Grab one end and row. So squeeze this shoulder blade together, bring it back down and repeat again. Just remembering to take the weight off this side and put the clip back on.
workout today we will be doing bicep curls supersized with lying overhead extensions. So for the bicep curls you want to keep your elbows locked to your side. You want to have a full range of movement starting at the bottom, bringing the bar up to your bicep so your forearm should be touching the muscle at the top and then ensuring you bring all the way back down. You want to keep your wrist neutral. If you don't want it curling you want to keep them straight like so. So as you can see my elbows are tucked to my side, my forearms are coming to my bicep and I hold it at the top just for a little bit to squeeze the muscle. Next moving on to the lying overhead extension, we want to safely bring the bar onto our hips and bring it in line with our chest and you want a narrow grip for this one. So you want to bend your arms at 90 degrees and the bar should go over your head. So you shouldn't be hitting your head at all. And then safely lower it back down to the ground. It's important when you do this movement to really contract your triceps at the top and give them a good squeeze before lowering it back down slowly. Today we start our cool down with a child's pose so we want to push our arms forward and push our hips backwards so we're being pulled in equal and opposite directions to get a nice stretch through the lower and upper part of our back. Next we'll be moving on to a chest stretch. So we put our hands on our hips and push our elbows behind our back towards each other and you'll feel a lovely stretch across the front of your chest. Next we take one arm across the chest and hold the meaty part of the shoulder and then dip it down slightly whilst keeping your arm straight. When you are ready, push the elbow back behind your head so your palm should be touching the top of your back slash your shoulder blade and this will stretch your tricep out. And when you are ready, repeat on the other side.
next we move on to stretching the lower body so take a wide stance hinge at your hips and bring your hands towards the ground push your hips up high and you'll feel this stretch in your hamstrings when you are ready moving through the center we will be moving from our left foot to our right foot to stretch each hamstring individually Next we'll be doing a glute stretch so if you have a wall or anything you can use to balance on that would be brilliant. So you take one leg across the other and squat down so you want to push your bum backwards and for your leg to create a 90 degrees whilst balancing the other one on top. Like I said you can use a wall to help balance you and when you are ready bring your foot down into a quad stretch so you want to be in good posture by pushing your hips forward rolling your shoulders back and maintaining a neutral spine and when you are ready repeat on the other leg And that is a wrap to our cool down. Well done for today, guys. You have all done amazingly. Let me know how you got on.